You're so hot, I am melting. Good morning, Toronto. What is going on? I woke up a little while ago. I've done a bunch of things. I'll update you in a second. But first, I gotta say, it is so hot. And you know, for me to say it's hot, it must be really hot. It's like a different kind of hot. It's like humid, and my room is like dusty because I'm not here very often. So I think that's what's contributing to my sickness. It's like a stuffy environment that's very hot, and I, I don't like AC, so I don't know how to deal because the fan is just blowing dust then. Anyways, here's the mission for today. I gotta go to the Indian Embassy and get my visa. Did that. I'll tell you about it. I gotta head to go do my hair and makeup. Pretty far, it's about a 55 0 minute drive, but I'm gonna go. Then I gotta come back home, get ready. Then I gotta head to my friend's wedding ceremony. I'm a bridesmaid. When I come home, I want to take it relatively easy and try to get better, although I do have to go through some emails. Aside from all of that, it is one of my oldest, closest friend's weddings. And although I I'm not in comprehension of weddings, other people are, and I'm very happy for it, and I want to just be present and enjoy it. So, aside from all of that, let's talk about my Indian visa thing. Hold up. I need to sit outside for a while. So, this is what happened. As you know, I all tweeted the last time I went to the Indian consulate because I had such a bad time, and they gave me a three-month visa with one entry, even though they said they were gonna give me a year, and it was this whole thing, because I'm like, you know, maybe fly back here, and it's $241 every time you want a visa also. So, I was so annoyed. So this time when I went in, I had an appointment with like the head of, I don't know if I got the title right, but the Indian Affairs head there. And I walked in, and I gotta say, my visa experience was very pleasant this time. And it's unfortunate that I had to tweet and cause a scene to make it that way, but I will say, the best thing you can do in life is have open conversations where you learn things. Because I went in, it was right away like, give me your paperwork, sorry about last time, this is, you know, the policy was changing and yada yada, and I was like, here's all the paperwork, I'd love a one-year visa with multiple entries, like, here's all the offers I get for India, and I have to keep coming back here, it's really just not reasonable or realistic for me to keep doing this because I don't live here. And you know what? He explained to me a lot of the things that are out of his control. He was very kind. He was like, you know, I get these are some difficulties, but because I have to kind of navigate between India, things that happen in India, things that happen here, all of these issues talking about, they're not in my control. And so I had a very good experience. They gave it to me in 10 minutes. I got my visa for one year. I was very happy about it. But the thing I learned more because, you know, I like to extract lessons was sometimes when you're annoyed and you're upset, like I was, right? I walked in there very annoyed and upset again because I was like, oh, I hate this process. And he sat down and he had a very open conversation with me about all the things that I know nothing about. I don't have his job. I don't work at the Indian consulate. And he explained like why the things I'm complaining about are like that and why they can't be fixed. And I was sitting there and listening and I was like, you know what? This is a great healthy conversation because when you're upset and annoyed and then someone so shows you a different point of view, you grow. And sometimes, I even tweeted saying there's such great power in recognizing sometimes things are beyond your expertise and beyond your knowledge and that you're wrong. That power is just as powerful as being right. And so I had a great time I learned new things and I learned why the process is the way it is and long story short I got my visa But I just want to say it was a very pleasant experience in life We should not always go with the mentality of like I'm so annoyed and this is wrong Sometimes you need to see another point of view and you should surround yourself with people that show you another point of view because there's a lot of value in growing and sometimes growing requires you to be wrong about things so Okay, I feel like an irrational proud mom right now, even though it makes no sense. I'm at Blend Studios, their actual studio for the first time ever. Okay. And it's so nice! I was like, why do you guys come to my crappy house all the time? Because they're nice, that's why. But this is so nice. Check it out. It's in Oakville, which is a real place. That is a real place that exists in the greater Toronto area. Wow! I put flowers in my hair because my friend is Tamil and that's what they do. They put flowers in my hair. I need to pull on the experts to do it. I love your studio so much. Yo, you guys need to come to the studio to get your hair and makeup done. What's the address? 216 Oak Walk Drive in Oakville. If you come, you should tell them that Lily told me you guys are awesome and that's why I came here. And then every person that comes in and says that, a unicorn will go to school. Because they did such a good job. And the studio is very nice. Thank you. And it's beautiful and you should come. It is Superwoman certified and approved. Look how bad I look, come on. You know I don't look like this regularly. You need to come up over here and get your confidence boosted. Not that you need makeup, but if you do need makeup, there's nothing wrong with something doing you up. Come on now. <laughs> The pressure is real right now because their studio is so far, but I wanted to come because they always come to my house and they had clients today, so I was like, I'll come to you. It's 55, zero minutes away from my house. I had to change and then 25 minutes from my friend's house. Where I am right now and where my I need to get are so far, more than an hour apart, and I have no time, so let's go. Frank just got home. I need to change. Okay. Let's go. Just kidding, forgot my bindi. Okay, it's not red. Hopefully she has an extra one, but it's the vibes. I think we're, we're good, we're good. Here's a deep breath. 
We don't always need to race the clock, except for right now I do, but also enjoy ourselves. <laughs> that girl made it, chilling the game. I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog from this point on because it's not my day, it is her day, but friggin' made it. Let's go. When your date dresses up for you, are you wearing a corta? Come on, is it, this is not the most adorable thing you've ever seen. Yes, my baby, yes, 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 <laughs> this is my baby Mallory. How do you feel? <laughs> She's like, vlog me, but don't ask me questions. How do you feel? What day is it? How are you feeling? What's you good? I'm feeling great, yeah. You look beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> So hi, mom boss of three. Hello. Looking fancy. My mom looking like my mom boss of two. Very good. I'm gonna make her feel real awkward right now. Yes, ho. Work it, hunty. Yes, ho. Yes, ho. My beauty queen. Yes, ho. Yes, ho. Yes, ho. Work it, hunty. Yes, ho. Stop being awkward. When all the food is vegetarian, come through. And just like that, they married. My baby girl's married. I'm gonna head home now because there's 100 bobby pins in my hair and I need to take them out. And these earrings are stabbing my neck, so let's go home. Let's do this. Oh, sweet relief. And I think they're all out of my hair, but that's not true because I'm gonna find another one tomorrow, another one the day after, and they're just gonna be in my hair. There's even one or two that are hidden, and I'll find them within 48 hours. Me, always running out of makeup wipes, but I'm gonna wash my face. <laughs> Blend was like, wash your face before you go to sleep, because the last two days I went to bed without doing it. I'm like, I'm sorry, I was tired. My throat is back to hurting, of course, nighttime. I'm gonna take some meds and head to bed. My hair looks like a zoo right now, but tomorrow I am thinking about, not thinking about, I'm gonna do it for sure, having a family get together, but it's happening at my cottage, and and I want to have a mental... I would like to have a mental health day where I'm gonna row an inflatable boat in water. I just wanna chill a little bit. I'm not gonna do too much work tomorrow. I'm committing to not doing too much work because I'm feeling kind of burnt out and I've been having so many early mornings, doing so many things where tomorrow I'm just gonna, of course I'm gonna do some things I gotta do, but I'm gonna try to just have a little bit of a leisure day. Eyelashes, you sit here for a second. One of my oldest friends got married today. You know, as I was watching the wedding, I was like, yo, I was having some deep thoughts. I was like, time flies. And like, I went to elementary school with this girl since grade four. I'm like, now you're getting married. And I'm just like, time flies, everything changes. And as humans, we just need to embrace that. So many times when things change and everyone's growing up, I get stressed, but I'm like, no, we just need to embrace it. Time flies, everything changes, live your life. Because in a heartbeat, everything's gonna change. So you might as well live your life right now. That is what I gathered from today's experiences. But let's see how we did today. Thank you so much for joining me on today. A beautiful, wonderful day, and I'm glad I got to take you on this journey. The lanterns were just awesome, freaking coolest thing ever. And yo, we had some Tamil swags today. Banakam, Malarakam, and Ish. There's lipstick all over my chin. I'm gonna head to bed. I will join you tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll be in a boat in the middle of the water and not be doing a lot of work. Until then, if you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. And I know I didn't tell you a lot about my India trip, but I promise I will. It is not an event, it is not a show, I'm not performing, I'm not doing anything related to that. I'm going for some really great causes, and so I'm going to tell you a lot more about that tomorrow, I promise. But until then, I hope you have a joyous night, evening, afternoon, morning, wherever you are.